Hello everyone, so I was able to go see Scream 6 tonight. So this movie is just a little over two hours long. Rated R, directed by Matt Olpen and Tyler Gillett. So it stars Courtney Cox, Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega. It has a lot of cast within it returning from the, well, some of the legacy movies. And of course, um, a lot of them returning from Scream 5, the one that came out last year. So yes, without further ado, let me get into my review for Scream 6. So the description of this movie is in the next installment, so the survivors of the Ghostface killings leave Woodsboro behind and start a fresh chapter in New York City. But of course, they're past their legacy of being the daughters of the original killer, still come back to follow them. Ghostface, Ghostface's legacy carries on and they find themselves in New York City escaping brand new killer a brand new ghost face killer and they are trying to well one deal with it once and for all but also get out of new york city because it's no longer a safe space for them so the carpenter daughters of sam and tara and so we're trying to create a new life for themselves and their the all the lives that they're trying to create for themselves are very very different in terms of one wanting again to security safety one wanting not to be tied down by the events that haunted them um again so about a year ago later is where this takes place um not wanting to be tied down by the events and live her life freely because she thinks that again to they're done with the whole ghost face killings but again to they find out that they are being hunted down again and it is up to them their friends from Woodsboro who moved with them to escape <laughs> it's not like a broken record here another ghost face killing so again so i can't really get into this movie too too much without spoilers sake but when it comes to the overall story i was quite enjoying this movie actually until maybe the last 20 minutes when the reveal of the killer comes into play i do want to say that i was able to Partly predicts who the um ghost face was again so i can't get into it without spoiling it and this is going to be a spoiler free review but there is one part where it was very very predictable could easily see it coming but there were a few other twists that i definitely did not see coming that i found were maybe a little cheap but um nothing really too too bad nothing too too like out of the blue to not make me believe in it but yeah again to the last 20 minutes i just found was after the reveal is just so fucking ridiculous and again so i'm getting i've over been tired of it for a long long time but the whole trope of ghost face is invincible until you take off their mask and then they're just this long overdrawn sequence where they want things to play a different way but or play out a certain way but Things don't go that way and things go wrong for the ghost face killer um i'm just getting really really tired of that trope and um i found that they definitely did it in the goofiest way possible <laughs> within the ending of this movie so again too i was enjoying it until the end of it and it really took this movie down quite a few notches for me um, I also found too that a lot of the characters, um, didn't really have much development at all and they were just way too cold for me to, um, I can't to get where they were coming from. They have like random people dying for them in New York City getting killed by, again, to what's haunting them. Like they're dragging people into this and it's not really giving two shits about what happens to, again, to like, these people that are getting killed for what they're being dragged into so again too it's really really hard to like them in a lot of ways and to sympathize with them in a lot of ways when they're just getting so many people hurt who definitely didn't deserve to ever be in the situation they were put into one thing too is i found that uh the setting of new york city wasn't used in ways that i found interesting or again to that um so many horror movies that take place in New York don't really use the setting in a lot of ways, and yeah, this movie definitely doesn't really do it. There's one sequence that involves, um, again, to just the super tight knit apartments crawling from one side to the other. Um, boy, you have a giant gap in between you in the middle. I found that sequence was really, really good and it's kind of captured that New York feeling, but the rest of it didn't do it at all for me. Some of the killings in like major public just didn't really makes sense to me i mean some people might just chalk it up as oh it's new york everyone's busy for <laughs> everyone's too busy for one another to see things like this but i don't i don't know the way that they filmed this just didn't really feel real to me it felt so goofy in so many ways and 
again, so it just kind of took me out of the moments in some ways, but um, when it comes to the ghost face in this, definitely one of the most agile ghost faces we've ever seen. Um, the kills are pretty visceral and they are pretty brutal for the most parts. There's, um, again, too, the, I, I can't get into it too, too much, but some of the kills are very, very brutal. Um, my favorite one just involves to, um, th th that part that I was just talking about earlier about using the New York City landscape. One of my favorite kills comes from that sequence, which I really, really enjoyed. But the rest, again, see where just very, very brutal um lots of organs getting stabs lots of um gut spilling again too just very very brutal and drawn out kills that are scary in a lot of ways and i did just really like the mannerisms of the ghost face that they had within this um just how cocky they were it was really really fun to watch um there's a, a bunch of moments where they do the clean your knife and then like the little head tilts and they'll run at you i just found the body movements was very very creepy cocky and awesome in a lot of ways but again too when it's revealed about the ghost face i find that it's getting a little ridiculous in the way too that it's just i'm <laughs> believing less and less and less every single movie that the killer when they're revealed could have actually done the things that they did within the movie um it, 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 it just find it really really ridiculous when you get to again to just see who they are you can't tell me that adrenaline is powering them for so constantly long and overpowering these other people's adrenaline um again so there's just a lot of ways where it's just getting tougher for me to believe that the killer is actually the killer at the end of the day but yeah no again too with the reveal on this one i really didn't find it interesting or like the reveal of the ghost face um I, there's way better more interesting things that i found that they could have done and again too it didn't really make sense to me the, i i can get the motive behind it but not in the way that they carried it out because it just doesn't make sense at all for serial killers with again too just the way that's the complex the mind complex of a serial killer works it's just not at all how it translates and um again it just wasn't believable to me in a lot of ways that it, a scenario like this would ever be possible or would ever play out in the way that it did so really with everything taken together very very generous with my score here i'm gonna have to give scream six a six out of ten um I, I it's mostly not a five or lower just because i have seen much worse slasher films and for a screen movie it was still decent in a lot of ways and again too i would i did like what this movie was trying to do for a lot of it it's just a lot of issues that i had with it and it's starting to just really drag out and be the same thing movie after movie after movie after movie and i just want them to do something different do something a little more original when it comes to the series and yeah, there's just so many better stories that I feel like they could have told within this film that's, again, to just, I don't know why they would have settled on this one when it had the potential to do so much more with the setting and so much more with the characters. So if you liked this review, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, you can check out everything I do on this channel through a playlist down below and all links up top of your freaking music. Thank you for subscribing and turning that little ring around so you know when I upload new videos. If you want to check out the description of this video and my channel bio, there's a link to the Medium Mountain, which is my Discord where we talk about movies, video games, comic books, TV, pretty much everything that's awesome in this world. So you can have to join that amazing community i'll make you more amazing than this already and yeah just awesome guys